Hey guys, I am refilming this video for the fifth time. Um, I said some things that were kind of exploitive in my last attempt. Not exploitive towards Ariana, but to one of her boy her ex boyfriends. And I, I feel like I really just need to set some rules here <clears throat> about what I say and like how much I reveal because you know I do respect people's privacy, and um, it's kind of unethical for what I you know. And I feel like maybe I have exposed too much. I really try not to. Like, I've tried to cover up people's, like, self-esteem issues and, like, sexuality issues in the past. But there are certain things that I really feel like I need to, you know, keep, you know, for that person to know only. So, I wanted to get into Ariana. And I want to give you some key basic things, kind of summarizing what I said before. So, I already did this reading. And what I saw is that Ariana is basically an angel. She's going to be a high angel when she's finished her incarnations. I saw she had three more incarnations here on earth before she became an actual angel. She needed to complete a few cycles, um, close out a few cycles is what I mean, and really just have that, um, <clears throat> that knowledge before she was internally in heaven and, you know, being an angel. I do see that while she was waiting to be incarnated on this planet, she um, basically was in heaven waiting to be incarnated, so she wasn't just floating around or anything. Um, some people do get stuck in limbo is what I'm trying to say before their incarnations. She does have starseed origins, um, as also alongside with, um, she, ha she is a fairy, she has a lot of fairy energy, so I feel like she spent a lot of time as a fairy. Um, if you guys don't know much about folklore, you can Google that. Um, and I feel like she was a really good fairy. And she has carried on um, some of those traits. Because I do see that she um, will sometimes use, like, she wears these cat ears or whatever. So I do see that she carries on a lot of those traits. Um, I also did see that uh, she had starseed origins from... Pallades, I don't, I'm not exactly sure all the names of the higher consciousness, um, star systems, but because I don't identify as that and I don't really know much about it, I just know one when I see one. Um, so she does have origins there, and I feel like that's where she may, may have met some of the people that she's been in relationships, like Mac Miller, um, and others that I really can't expose right now, I'm being told not to, um, I was being told to delete the last video that I tried to film. So, with that being said, I want to also say that Ariana is a really good person. She has, her heart chakra vibrates all around her. Her energy is so strong, and it's all because of how good-hearted she is. I feel like Ariana is really done with being in the limelight, being in the spotlight all the time. She's very embarrassed about how all her relationships fail. I feel like she has a lot of shame because of that. She's been in the spotlight and um, basically has had all her relationships blow up in her face and she felt very judged by that. And I feel like that's why she's kind of like, I need to find something. She still wants to do her music, but I feel like in the future we are going to see her doing more like volunteer work. Something with children, I feel like she, she might be volunteering at an orphanage, something along that nature. I see that her going into that later on. Um, what else did I see? I did see that she was going to meet somebody, but he was going to be very closed off. And I feel like this is a person she's either going to be in a long-term relationship with, or she's going to marry eventually. Um, this person is not as bad as the other guys that she's met, but Ariana really did take on a caretaker role in all her relationships that we've seen her in. So, with that being said, um, Ariana has, uh, this lifetime for Ariana is going to be a growth a lifetime of growth, meaning she has a lot of cycles she needs to close out. She's closing out a lot of them in one lifetime. Um, and we often see people that are higher dimensional beings take on a lot of stress and karmic cycles within one lifetime. It's, I, it just happens like that. I feel like normal people, like they really, you know, they'll have one hardship and, um, yeah, like, you know, Oprah's like, you know, not one hardship, but they'll have one some something one thing happen that's very traumatic that will change their life. 
whereas higher dimensional beings that are vibrating at such a high level will have multiple things crash down and like have be expected to pick themselves back up at a higher like in um less time so they can take on the next challenge so there has been a lot of challenges in her life and she's clearing out a lot of those old cycles um i like i said i think this sh this this lifetime for her is going to be all about that she does have three other lifetimes she needs to complete i'm not sure if it's two more or this is the third i'm just hearing three so once she closes that out she will be a high angel um that'll be it for her and i don't know i feel like um her duty on this planet which she needed to give will be completed and her energy will be needed here to, to raise the consciousness of the earth so for her future endeavors i am seeing like i said her working in an orphanage doing a lot of um volunteer work um something revolving kids or she may have children and I feel like she still wants to continue on with her music. I feel like there's a lot of deals coming her way right now. Um, but I feel like the people around her, like her managers, put a lot of pressure on her. And right now she's just like in a healing mode. Like she, she, there, I don't want to see mental illness, but mentally there's something wrong with her. And she knows it. And she wants to take care of that. And, um... She, I feel like she's kind of telling this woman to back off. I don't know if her manager's a woman. I don't know who this woman is, but I feel like she's just telling them to back off in a nice way. Like, Ariana has very bad boundaries, like, issues with boundaries, and she really doesn't stick up for herself that much. But now she's kind of learning to, and she's kind of telling the people around her that are putting all that pressure on her that she needs to just relax. What else was I seeing? Um, I know this is, like, a super short reading on Ariana. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to get any last messages about her. Like I said, I've done this video like five times. Yeah, she really was, she really has come to this planet to raise the consciousness of the earth. She's carried a lot of fairy energy, a lot of positive energy. And it, that's why she keeps attracting these men, um, these negative men in her life. I only know about two of her ex-boyfriends. I don't know about all of them. So I can't say that this is for all of them. Um, but she is just such a light being and um, genuinely a nice person. We're going to see her doing more um, work towards basically making this world a better place. I don't know if it's just going to be volunteer work or what else she's going to do. But I see her trying to take a step back from the limelight, for now at least, until she figures out what's really wrong with her. Because I am seeing that there was something she found out that was wrong. And um, I think it's a mental imbalance. I don't know if it's like... I don't think it's depression. I feel like there's just something else that's like a, a mental block or something. Um, but let me know what you guys think. I, know, <laughs> I feel bad. This is so short. I literally rant, was ranting on the last one. So maybe you guys like the style better. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you guys soon.